Good night, comrades. Good night. I want this voice note to be shared. The General Secretary of the People's National Party, Dayton Campbell, he came and he released a voice note that was played. I will be consulting with my lawyers and I want this voice note to be shared. Dr. Campbell, out of respect for the party and the institution, I'm going to be very, very calm and measured. You are a liar from the pit of hell. You have chronicled a series of events that I, Craig Oates, know is not right. Smear campaign, trying to protect your own hide. But people, here goes. I applied to be the PNP candidate on February, in January 2023. The criteria set out by the party, you apply, and after you apply, um, regional committee, for the regional committee interview, I was overseas, my wife was sick, and I requested I do the interview by Zoom. I sat there the first Zoom interview for five hours, and they would not let me in. I know that something was wrong from that time. About two weeks after they gave me the interview, the room had nine persons in there. One person asked me a question, Clayton Morgan, the lawyer, one. One person asked me a question. And I don't think he asked me three or four questions. They said that I was told by Dr. Campbell that I passed. And if I had not passed, comrades, why would I have been advanced to the Integrity Commission? I went to the Integrity Commission. They probably asked me about three or four questions. Nobody asked me anything about me being a cop. So now Dayton Campbell tried to throw it out there. And for the record, I enrolled in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, April 6, 1994. During which time? During which time? During which time? I have never been arrested, never been charged, never ever even been to orderly room. Never. Model cop, clean as a whistle. But let us say that they had concern one year after. January coming is one year. And you cannot find a thing. Dr. Campbell sent me a poll result by WhatsApp stating that I got 28% to the member of parliament, 34. And said that I, he was going to put me on a work program. People, I said to Dr. Campbell, why would you want to put me on a work program when the, when the criteria that you set out said I had to pull 25% and as the only person, we have an up and down vote by the delegate. He said the NEC change it. I said, how oh, you can change the rule anyway? People have got the work program. When I got the work program, when I got the, but, um, when I got, before I got the work program, before I got the work program, we were having conference and Dr. Campbell told me, and he's going to be very surprised when I produce more receipts, told me that I was going to be presented as a candidate for Eastern and over, and that him, him, him himself and Mark Golden should come. I went and I discussed it with members of the constituency. Some of whom heard Dr. Campbell speaking to me and speak because I don't hide anything. And we went and we spent a lot of money and put the conference together. The biggest conference in Eastern Hanover that many has ever seen. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? Mark Golden came. Dayton Campbell never come. I was not presented. Then he came and told me that I had to do a work program. People, from July, until September, that was the next time I spoke to Dayton Campbell about any work program. We never had any discussion. He called me and said, you ready? And I said, ready with what? Are you finished the work program? Up until now, the party has not asked me for any work program or if I did anything. Or you can contact the constituency secretary, Faina Davis. She has not been in receipt of any request from headquarters. So the party went back and did a poll not knowing if I even did the work program. Dr. Campbell, lying lips are an abomination. But I'm just telling comrades, people, so it reached a stage now where they said they're doing a next poll. You know what they did with the poll? They included Andrea Dehaney, the counsel for the Sandy Bay Division in the poll. Up until now, that poll has not been shared with us. And that poll would not be made known. Comrade Dehaney did not apply for the position in Eastern Hanover. She did not apply. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? Her name was on it. 
I am being told by inside sources that she get 12 percent. 12 percent. I got must be 28 and the member of parliament again get the same number. Some like 33 or 34. Some are about. Because they're not cheering the polls. Because they didn't want people to know that Andrea was in it. Now, people, if you put two PNP against one GLP, what would you get? What would you get? And then there's this talk about him saying that I had done my interview by Zoom. Dr. Campbell, you must be clean. When you called and you asked me, when you called and you asked me about voice, about um, the meeting, you had wanted us to come into Kingston. I told you that it was unreasonable for the people to come into Kingston. I said, can we do it on Zoom? I suggested it. Your secretary, Christine Bell, responded to me by saying that it cannot be facilitated. The chairman of the party said it cannot be facilitated by Zoom and she was in parliament. It was on Tuesday. I communicated back to the members. The members met, had a meeting, took a decision that they were supporting Craig Woods and that they weren't doing Zoom, they were face to face because it's two years you guys did not come here. Two years. You have not come and spoken to us in Eastern Hanover. As a matter of fact, General Secretary, you not come. Now, to hear you come now and say that I had requested Zoom for interview but never want it, you must put it in context because I had requested Zoom for the people them. And you say that they have to come into Kingston. Then you give us a restaurant in one of your friend's restaurant, I must your friend, in St. Anne's, where you say we must go. And it changed. Uh, in uh, the morning when all we put on we close and left come at Kingston. We hear say the meeting cancel. Skeffrey, Comrade Skeffrey called God Grant and God Grant, the vice chairman of the constituency, communicated to us, Dr. Dayton Campbell. So you know come with your lips full of lies and them something because me now go take it. I'd wanted everything to be buried and the party move forward. But because you find yourself in such a hole that you have dug for yourself you come out there and you lie and you're saying that david tolo was threatened who threatened david tolo who threatened david tolo was a report made was a report made all of this to influence and sway the voters in eastern hanover and i go work and let me just ask you something let me ask you something is it this way dr campbell you intend to run the party just like how you just get up in the middle of the night 